Okay, so Pi News episode 12, and I'm using Ubuntu 20.10 Groovy Gorilla for this. Uh, now, when I first tried this OS, uh, it was a little slow and the web browser was poor. It's had a couple of updates, and I'm also now running it from an M.2 drive. Weirdly, I'm running it from an M.2 drive via USB 2 because I can't get it to boot properly from USB 3. Sometimes it does, uh, but it's quite erratic. But from USB 2, it actually works really well. So that's how I'm using this setup at the moment. So let's launch Firefox, which is, like you can see, I've got loads of tabs open uh, because there's a lot of things have happened more recently in Raspberry Pi. So first up, uh, we have the best Raspberry Pi uh, from Chris Titus Tech. He's made an OS called Titus Pi, and uh, it looks like it's a 32-bit OS uh, based on Raspberry Pi OS, uh, but there's also an Arch version as well. Not yet for the Pi 4, I don't think, but, but coming. Um, now, you can download a full image of his from his website, but you do have to pay $5, but he's also made all the information available on the GitHub, or most of the information. So if you want to tackle it yourself, which is a good way of doing it, you can go into the README and uh, there's, I mean, he spent loads and loads of time on this and it does look very, very interesting, but it maybe it will sort of teach you how to do certain things. It's, uh, yeah, all sorts of links and things in there to show you where to start and how to set it up and things like that. One thing I noticed from the video that looked really cool, uh, and I haven't really tried this, but I guess it's in uh, Supreme Ultra, is Moonlight, which is game streaming from a PC. Uh, so like Steam Link, um, but uh, the performance he was getting was very, very good. Uh, the OS is very minimalist, um, but uh, and, he, and he seems to like a lot of shortcuts and things like that. But yeah, interesting. Uh, it was nice to see any new OS for the Raspberry Pi is always a good thing. Let me know in the comments what you think if you've tried it out. So a couple of stories about Raspberry Pi Vulcan driver getting closer. Uh, this is uh, is really exciting and will make a big difference. So Tom's Hardware, I'll put a link in the description to that. And there's also this story on ZDNet. And what was the bit I was going to read? So Raspberry Pi 4 owners will be pleased to know that Vulcan supported one step closer thanks to the Vulcan driver V3DV being merged in the latest version of the Mesa graphics stack for the Raspberry Pi 4. So really, really good. I showed it in my Supreme Ultra video. Uh, N64 is supported on Supreme Ultra RetroPie, and it looked really good. So I saw this one on Facebook on the RetroPie official group, and I just liked it. Um, you know, seeing this uh, this man cave that uh, this guy's built, Adrian Giddens, uh, and uh, you can see he's got his bar here, but he's also got his arcade console with the joysticks, with the multiple buttons, and it just it just struck me as something really cool. Um, so yeah, really impressed with that. So. Ubuntu Groovy Gorilla adds Raspberry Pi as a first-class citizen. I saw this on Reddit, and there's a thread on it with lots of comments. I'll read out this story from Ars Technica. Yeah, this bit was interesting. So with 2010, Groovy Gorilla Canonical has added full desktop support for the Pi 4. Martin Wimpress, Canonical's Director of Engineering for the Ubuntu Desktop, says this means the Pi is now a first-class citizen. Canonical guarantees the same level of integration, QA, and support from kernel to user space that it does for an x86 PC. The entire Ubuntu software repository, saved from specifically architecture-targeted packages, which start with names like i386, is available and supported on the Pi. So yeah, great news. Although weirdly, I can't get the Raspberry Pi imager to work. If I click on it, it just does that. It doesn't do anything. And I like Raspberry Pi imager. Um, so if anybody knows how to get that working, I have seen it on uh, other custom versions of Ubuntu, so obviously can work, but I, I tried to install it from the ordinary Ubuntu software store. So another thing that caught my attention was this Raspberry Pi 4 custom case uh, with lots of LEDs. So it looks like there's two Raspberry Pi 4s in there. Uh, although I don't know if it's a if there's a mirror image or something because it it uh, yeah, it's hard to work out exactly what's going on there. And I don't think there's an awful lot of information on it. Maybe there is through the comments. Um, but uh, yeah, I just thought it it looked impressive. Uh, it's certainly nice to see. So ETA Prime and a few other people did a video on the new Android 11 on Raspberry Pi 4. And uh, I haven't tried it yet. Well, I have, I've I've downloaded it and uh, I wanted to sort of do it from a startup point to do with the App Store because there's two different ways of getting either Google App, Google App Store or an alternative App Store. Um, but uh, I did note that the performance on Real Racing wasn't as good as uh, I had in my video. So I'm wondering if it's as good as the Consta Kang video for 3D support. Uh, it does look like it gets regular updates. So yeah, further on. 
Am I getting, oh, you've got scrubbing here. Yeah, it did, it did look a bit jerky to me, and uh, I didn't think the performance was quite as good as when I tried it. Uh, but then I was using an overclocked uh, 8 gig Raspberry Pi, so I did it in this video, and I was comparing a 2 gig, a 4 gig, and an 8 gig. And so I, I need to play around with that and see if the performance is quite as good as Consta Kang's version. But it's really nice to see that they've got Android 11, and also there are uh, lots of updates on this as well. So it looks like it's an ongoing thing, and uh, you know we'll keep improving. So always really impressed to see now something else on the Raspberry Pi. And the last one. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, Jeff Geerling's video on uh, GPUs on a Raspberry Pi 4, uh, the compute module. Now I haven't really gone for a compute module because I don't think it's really me or or what I do with the Pi, um, but I, I think there will be some exciting things in the future, so let's just pause that. Uh, so have we got something with a picture of the compute module? So we tried loads of things to get it running and uh, it, it is a really good video, he didn't get it working in the end. But uh, he, he went through so many steps, different graphics cards and things like that. Really good video, really good work on that. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.